Next up then, round two, Arctic Rally Finland, a genuine winter test, full snow and ice setup, spiked tyres and cold, very cold. A new adventure for many. I think it's going to be a real challenge. Uh, the feedback I have from the guys that have been before when we actually ran F1 driver Valtteri Bottas there uh, in, a, in a WRC car is that it's extremely cold, <laughs> you know, minus 25, minus 30 or something, which is, which is going to be really interesting. That's going to bring its own challenges in itself. You know, we haven't seen a lot of these drivers are in at the moment drive in those conditions with the high snow banks and you know the, the actual crisp snow and uh, and those cold conditions we haven't seen that in sweden for the last few years so i think that will be a challenge for them hyundai's thierry neville knows what it takes to win a winter rally the belgian successful in sweden in 2018. his only experience of the arctic though a test several years ago and that has been my only time there uh, but uh, good memories um, because the roads are really covered with snow, huge snow banks. They are much more narrow than what we have seen in the last editions of the Rally Sweden. So um, finally, uh, <laughs> conditions we were really looking forward. Like Neville, Elvin Evans is also a Rally Sweden winner. That impressive performance in unseasonal conditions last year, very different to what they can expect in Lapland, as Evans discovered at Toyota's pre-event test. Arctic Rally is going to be brand new for, for most of us, I think, and obviously it's nice to, to head to a new event, and that might require something ever so slightly different to perhaps what we planned for in, in Sweden in previous years, for example. So uh, I think we can safely bank on, on a bit more traditional uh, full winter conditions, which would be much colder, so we also need to consider that. To a couple of crews are familiar with the Arctic's frozen forests. M Sports' Tamo Sunanen has competed in Lapland. After his disappointment in this year's opening round, he'll be keen to make home advantage cut. It's been every year really fast rally with uh, really narrow roads. And uh, then there is also really slow sections. It's been pretty cold, a bit maybe simple roads, but uh, you need to really attack there all the time. Fellow Finn Kelly Rovampera also knows what to expect. He won the Arctic Lapland Rally last year and is tipped by many as a strong contender for a first full WRC victory on home territory. Yeah, for sure, it's nice to nice to be back in in there. Uh, there is some stages with which I have been driving and some which I have not been driving. So it's not fully uh, like really easy rally for me, but it's always helping. And uh, hopefully I can try to be in a good pace there and uh, hopefully we can fight a bit better. Watch WRC Plus on all devices. WRC Plus, all live.